Losing photos is a photographer's worst nightmare. Well, maybe second behind losing their gear. Or third behind being chased through a dark forest by a giant bunny in a sparkly tutu. Well, it, it's definitely up there as one of their worst. And there are many reasons why that might happen. For example, your memory card or hard drive might have corrupted. Or you may be transferring files between locations and the process suddenly gets interrupted. Or you may accidentally delete a file. Or you may have formatted the, the storage altogether. But often, this doesn't actually mean that the file has gone. Memory storage like hard drives and memory cards are actually split up into lots of tiny segments which are called sectors. And these are what store the data and a single photo will actually fill multiple different sectors. Now, when you write a new photo onto a card, your device will find whatever sectors are flagged as available and it will write the data into those. When you delete a file from a card, the device doesn't actually remove the data from that sector. Instead, what it does is it just hides the file from view so you can't see it, and it marks those sectors as being available, but it still retains the data from the old file. Then eventually, there will come a point where you're putting new photos onto the card, and the device will choose that particular sector that used to be part of an old photo, and the old data will be overwritten by the new file, and only then would it be lost forever. So until that point, it is actually possible to be able to retrieve the data from those sectors. Now, this is usually done with recovery software, of which there are many on the market, but there is one in particular that I want to show you today, which is Recoverit by a company called Wondershare. Now, for total transparency, I have a big disclaimer to make, which needs a little bit of explaining. This is not a sponsored video, okay? Wondershare are not paying me to make this video. However, I do have links with them where they do pay me to make videos for them. If you go on to Recover It's YouTube channel, you will see lots of tech help videos for various situations, and you will note I'm in a few of them. For the past few months, I've been working with Wondershare on this. Every few weeks, they send me a script for a video topic that they want to cover. They send the script to me, I film the, the, the video, I edit it up, I send it back to them, and then they pay me for it. This, however, is not one of those videos. They haven't scripted this for me, they haven't offered to pay me for it. Hell, at the point of me recording this, they don't even know that I'm doing it. I don't have affiliate links with them. I mean, there is a link to their software down below in case you do want to check it out, but I won't earn anything off you buying it. The only money that I'm going to earn from this video is the regular advertising directly through YouTube. It just so happens that this is a piece of software that I've used a lot through my work with them, and I feel it could be very useful for people who've lost files, and I want to show you what it can and can't do. Ah, uh, with all that out the way, let me first show you the software and then cover where the limitations lie with photo recovery. On the home screen, it presents you with four options down the left-hand side. First is hard drives and locations, which is the main page for scanning and the one you, that you're predominantly going to use for photo recovery. Now, it shows you the details of all the storage devices that it can detect on your computer. You hover over the drive that you've lost the data from and you click scan and it will start scanning that drive. Now, this scanning can take some time depending on the size of the hard drive and the performance of your computer. Now, as it finds files, it will start to display them in a list, and you can stop the scan at any time, so you don't necessarily have to wait for the entire scan to complete if it's already found the file that you're looking for. When it's finished scanning, you can look through all the files and the folders that it's managed to detect, and with many file types, it'll actually let you view a preview of the file first, you know, just to make sure you've got the right one. Afterwards, just select whichever files you want to get back. You go to the recover button in the bottom right corner, and it will then prompt you to select the location where you want to save the files to. It's probably wise, don't recover them back to the exact same location you lost them from in the first place, just in case. So that's the general scan. Now, more advanced versions of the software offer other features like being able to rescue data after your computer's crashed and an advanced recovery and repair tools. Now, these are supposed to be handy if you've uh, had a general scan that hasn't picked up the video files that you're looking for. For example, 
you know, you could have a video file that's fragmented into several smaller pieces. The advanced scan will make multiple passes over the sectors during a scan and will pick up all these little pieces and try and stitch them back together. Although I've never had a video fragment in such a way to properly test this out. But I have been able to recover plenty of files through the general scanning to know that that can definitely work. Now, I emphasize can because the reality is it might not always. You know, if, if drives have corrupted, then some files might be too far gone to be detected. If, if you've deleted files and then continued writing new data to the drive afterwards, some of the sectors might have been irreversibly overwritten. So word to the wise, if you ever accidentally delete a photo by mistake, then stop using the card immediately because it'll minimize the chances of something else replacing it. And then the odds are you will be able to find the files that you're looking for on the scan. If you formatted the card, then I've found it generally depends on how you formatted it. If the card's formatted in your camera, at least on Sony cameras, then it seems to wipe everything clean and recover it finds nothing except maybe a few hidden system files from the format. If you formatted it on a computer, on Windows at least, then a quick formatted card is still able to find files, but if you've used the, the non-quick format, if you've unchecked the quick format box, the card again seems to be unrecoverable, suggesting that that format is far more thorough. But on the whole, if you happen to end up losing a file, then don't panic straight away, as there is still a chance that you can retrieve it with specialist recovery software. And that draws this video to a close. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. There is the link to recover it down there as well if you want to check it out. And there is the like and subscribe buttons, which we'd appreciate you clicking if you enjoyed this video. And then hopefully, we'll see you in the next video.